Division Collision. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an armbar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Great. Good fight. Alright folks, round one is underway. Good to have you with us tonight. This could be a very technical fight, and if you are someone who likes the jiu-jitsu game, this is not a fight you want to miss. We've got a different audience tonight. Yeah. Because when this one was announced, the whole entire jiu-jitsu world took notice. They said, wow, we get to watch these two fighters compete in the UFC. It's something we've wanted for years. It just has to happen in the octagon. It did not happen in the jiu-jitsu competition, but they're more than happy to tune in and watch this great fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice jab. Transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Nicely done. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Under two minutes in the first round. Yeah. 
And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Final seconds of round one. Five minutes in the books. Ah, stop, stop, stop. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts, not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right for the jet, too. Lands with the right the right hand. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Guillotine attempt now. Looks as though he's got the neck. He's attacking Guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Open St. Prue has got to like that transition there. And there it is! It's over! It's over! Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of round number two. We claim the winner by a tap out, Assassin. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know.